Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will learn how to find the last non-zero digit of any n factorial. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. Now as you all know, n factorial is product of all the natural numbers up to the number 1. You may also know this fact that all the numbers from 5 factorial end in 0. So 6 factorial 7 factorial and so on, all of them end in zeros. The last non-zero digit of n factorial is the digit that comes just before the trailing zeros of n factorial. So suppose n factorial has a random value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and there are 6 zeros at the end of n factorial. Now the last non-zero digit of this number is 6. This is because it comes just before the trailing zeros of this n factorial. So 6 is the last non-zero digit of this n factorial. So let's check how to find the last non-zero digit of any n factorial. Now to find out the last non-zero digit of n factorial, we just have to remember a simple formula and that is 2 to the power a into a factorial into b factorial. And over here, a is the quotient when n is divided by 5, b is the remainder upon dividing n by 5. So a is the quotient and b is the remainder. So we just have to remember the simple formula 2 to the power a into a factorial into b factorial. So let's solve some few examples so that you will understand this concept a bit better. So for our first example, let's take the value of n as 15. So we have to find the last non-zero digit of 15 factorial. So according to the formula, we have to find a and b. So over here, a is the quotient when 15 is divided by 5 and that is 3. And b is the remainder when 15 is divided by 5. So over here, b is equal to 0. So according to the formula, we have 2 to the power 3 into 3 factorial into 0 factorial. Now over here, 2 to the power 3 is 8 and 3 factorial is 6 and 0 factorial is 1. So upon calculation, it comes out to be 48 and the last digit of 48 is 8. So the final answer is 8. So let's take our second example. So for our second example, we take the value of n as 30. So we have to find the last non-zero digit of 30 factorial. Over here, our a is equal to 6 because 30 upon dividing by 5 gives the quotient as 6 and our remainder is again 0, so the value of p is equal to 0. So according to the formula, we have 2 to the power 6 into 6 factorial into 0 factorial. Now we just have to take the last non-zero digit of these three numbers. So 2 to the power 6 is equal to 64, so the last non-zero digit is 4. 6 factorial is equal to 720, so the last non-zero digit of 720 is 2 and 0 factorial is 1, so we take 1. Last non-zero digit of 30 factorial is 8. So let's solve our third and final example. So for this case, let's take the value of n as 103, so we have to find the last non-zero digit of 103 factorial. Now over here, a is equal to 20 because 103 divided by 5 gives the quotient as 20 and we can easily see that our remainder is equal to 3. So according to the formula, we have to find the last non-zero digit of 2 to the power 20 into 20 factorial into 3 factorial. Now I can find the last digit of 2 to the power 20 with the help of cyclicity and it comes out to be 6 and 3 factorial is 6 itself so I can write simply 6. Now I don't know what is the last non-zero digit of 20 factorial. So I will repeat the process once again. Now in this case, my a is equal to 4 and my b is equal to 0. So I have to find the last non-zero digit of 2 to the power 4 into 4 factorial into 0 factorial. So my final answer is equal to 6 into last non-zero digit of 2 to the power 4 into 4 factorial into 0 factorial. Now 2 to the power 4 is 16, so the last digit is 6. 4 factorial is equal to 24, so the last digit is 4 and 0 factorial is 1. So we have to find 6 into 4 into 1, which is 24. So the last digit is 4. So my final answer is the last digit of 6 into 4 into 6, which comes out to be 144. So the last digit is 4. 
was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy.